Techers, trekkers, and those who love technology, you guys all know that Intel's new Haswell has hit the market. We guys brought you the full review. We've brought you guys some information from ASUS, and now we have yet another unboxing. This time, the Z87 GD65 gaming board from the people over at MSI, and this thing's looking pretty cool. So with that said, let's do our first Undoor outboxing. All right, folks, so here we are, the great outdoors with the MSI Z87 GD65 Gaming Motherboard, their Gaming G Series. You can see the dragon right there. You can hear the dog walking around in the background. Right here, they've got this recommended by Fnatic. It's got the killer E2200 network solution in there. You guys have all heard of that. You guys can also see here on the front of the box, it supports the Intel fourth generation core CPUs, the Intel chipset Z87. We'll just get past that. No, you guys don't care too much about that. But now here's the back of the board. Here we see the back of the box. Again, we see the top, the name, and all that stuff. But then we have some other stuff down here. They're audio boost. Reward your ears with true quality. It says they have golden audio jacks, headphone amplifier. I also have high quality audio capacitors. Multi GPU capable. They're using the Sound Blaster Cinema. Now this isn't actually a chip, this is software integrated. It actually uses the ALC 1150 for the sound chip. We'll get into that in a second though. Military class four hardware. You know, that's gonna be high quality Japanese components across the board. Hopefully there'll be nice black ones so they look really cool on the board. Going here, we see, you know, once again, the killer. Their OC Genie 4, this is one click overclocking. You click it, overclocks your board. It's pretty cool stuff. You guys can see right here, a quick pick of the rear IO. And then here's something interesting. For their gaming device port, they're claiming that both the PS2 and both the first jacks right there that are part of the motherboard are all gold plated for great connectivity. So with that said, let's get past the box and let's get into seeing what comes in it. All right, folks, so first off, we're gonna go in here and I'll go ahead and just take the motherboard out and let's talk about the accessories pack, which is pretty nice. First off, We'll start off with the rear I.O. You can see it's all black color coded and it's got some red color in there to match up with the motherboard. We have one, two of the SATA cables. We have the manual, the Z87 GD65 Gaming right there. We have drivers and utility CD. Now this is something actually quite cool. Check out this case badge. That's pretty badass. It's got that total Ferrari look. It actually looks like the front car limb that you get on a car. In fact, maybe somebody can go stick in their car and act like they just the coolest. You know what I'm saying? So let's stick that down there. Also got some electronic connectors right here for connecting to the connectors on the board when you want to do your overclocking and stuff like that. Set that down right there. We also have a sign that says MSI. I'm not here. Hmm, kind of like a gaming thing. I'm sorry, busy gaming. Stay away. All right. Then we get a giant like how-to quick installation guide. I'm not gonna open that whole thing up. You guys know what's up with that. Now you get two different types of things in here. You get a software and applications user's guide as well as the user's manual. So all this stuff right here is will be the content if you're looking at a written review. Let's get that out of the way and show you the motherboard. All right, folks, so now we have the motherboard out of the box. Like I said before, you guys can see it has that total Ferrari look, the red and the black one. The thing is they have their dragon down here. So it's not a Ferrari, it's a dragon. Up here on top, eight pin power connection. Then we see on the board, it says digital power. So the whole board has digital power throughout. The cooling solutions right here. Ziff socket, 1150, LGA 1150. Like I said, for all the brand new Haswell CPUs that are out there and i5 and i7. Now, right here, all the memory slots, four DIMMs, 32 gigabytes of DDR3. First of the CPU fan headers up here on top. Another one off here to the side. Now, I showed you those little Connectors earlier, they go right here. This is for like reading all the voltage and everything off of your motherboard. 24 pin power connection. And then right here on the side, I'm gonna turn the board to the side right here. They have their A and B BIOS. I'll try to get this up here so the cameraman can see that better for you folks. So you guys can see right here, this is the A and B BIOS switch. You just switch that back and forth. Two BIOSes are right there. I mean, they're welded to the board, but if either one of them goes bad, you can go to the other one and flash the other one back to normal. Here on the side, we have USB 3.0 connector. And then over here, we have all of our SATA connectors, and there's two different types of controllers on here. There's the AS Media and the Intel. The Intel supports up to six. The other is by the AS Media. So these are all Intel. 
This one right here is as media. Go ahead and just bring the board around again to the side right here. You guys can see the cooling solution down here. Really, really nice. I like that, the Dragon. Now, over here, I'm gonna flip the board around again to another direction. Hope they get the camera to get in there. You see it? Here on the board, we see the mini SATA connection and everything right here. You can plug a little card in there and automatically have your boot drive. Like we did this in the system that we're building, you guys will see pretty soon. And it's a little tiny little thing right there sticks in there, the M SATA, and it's awesome. So you just stick a little thing in there and it's really cool. I like it a lot. So flip around here again. Now this board supports multi GPUs. It'll support two cards in SLI or three cards in Crossfire. So we'll start back up here, folks. Here's all of our PCIe support. We have one, two, three, four PCIe 1X slots, and then we have one, two, three of the PCIe X for your video cards and such. So all over here, we see the audio solution right here. I'll try to get that back up there again for the camera to take a look at. You guys can see right here, all the audio solution, the Sound Blaster Cinema. As we scroll up again, we see the MSI Military Class 4, and then the killer E2200 NIC. Last but not least, folks, let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the rear I.O. Here you guys can see the rear I.O. Like we talked about before, these connections all right here are gold-plated, superior gaming response, coaxial audio, SBDIF audio, VGA, DVI, and then over here, we have one HDMI port, which is kind of strange because usually all the video connections are all right next to each other. On this board, they're split apart. Here's that killer LAN we talked about. And there are four USB 3.0 connectors. Here's your 7.1 analog audio. And inside, every single one of these are gold plated. All right, folks, so now we're gonna come down here at the bottom of the board. Here are some of your USB connectors, some more connectors here. Here, right here is your post buttons. These things will light up in different numbers and tell you if you're having a problem with your system. You'll get the numbers that come up in your manual, say, oh, okay, that's the problem, then move forward. Hopefully you don't ever see that. Here is your Go BIOS button. Next to that, you have your OC switch. And then next to that, you have the OC Genie, then your reset and your power switch all located down here at the bottom of the board. All right, so there you guys have it, folks. The first outdoor unboxing here on Tech of Tomorrow. So you guys seen it, black and red Ferrari colors of the new MSI Z87 GD65 gaming motherboard. So if you guys are into this type of outdoor unboxing thing, make sure you guys pound that like button, make sure we know it, and we'll do more like this. It's kind of cool, it's actually nice out here. Sunny weather, there's bees everywhere, but the animals are out and they like it. So hope you guys like this. This board is looking pretty cool, like I said, if you're in this kind of color scheme and stuff and you guys are looking to upgrade to a new Haswell motherboard this may be one you guys might want to be checking out so I'm Eric we'll see you guys back here on tech of tomorrow